Anaconda versus Crocodile. Who is king of the reptiles? The world's largest and probably the most feared snake is the anaconda that has been featured in many films and documentaries and for this reason we thought it better to feature a fight between the anaconda and the crocodile, the toughest reptile. Anacondas are semi-aquatic snakes found in tropical South America. They are some of the largest snakes in the world and are known for their swimming ability. Anaconda is the common name for the genus Eunectes, a genus of boa. Eunectes means good swimmer in Greek. There are four recognized species of anaconda. They are the green anaconda, the yellow or Paraguayan anaconda, the dark spotted anaconda, and the Benai or Bolivian anaconda. Though crocodiles and their relatives have a negative reputation among people, most species are relatively harmless and would rather avoid people than confront them. The saltwater crocodile, however, is known to show aggression towards people, partly a result of its strong territoriality and is responsible for at least several dozen attacks on people each year. Size and Description Anacondas are stocky, muscular snakes that are thicker than other boas. They have thick necks and narrow but large heads. All anacondas have nostrils and eyes on the tops of their heads, which allow them to see above the water while remaining mostly submerged. They have a thick black stripe that runs from the eye to the jaw. Anacondas have small, smooth scales that grow larger toward the posterior of their bodies. They have loose, soft skin that can handle a great deal of water absorption. Green anacondas are greenish-brown, olive or greenish-gray. They have black or brown egg-shaped spots on the mid to posterior back of their bodies. Anacondas can reach lengths of 17 feet, 5 meters. Some specimens may be as long as 36 feet, 11 meters, but this is unusual. The anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world. A large individual anaconda might weigh 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms, but will usually top out at a few hundred pounds. Anacondas can measure more than 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters in diameter. Females typically outweigh males. The saltwater crocodile is one of the most aggressive and dangerous crocodiles. It is also the largest living reptile. Sexual dimorphism is present in this species, the female being smaller than the male. Males can reach up to 23 feet, 6.5 meters, and weigh over 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. Crocodiles up to 10 meters have been recorded in the wild in the past, but are extremely rare. Saltwater crocodiles have very large heads. A pair of ridges runs from the eyes along the center of the snout. The eyes, ears, and nostrils are located on the same plane on the top of the head, allowing it to see, hear, and breathe while almost totally submerged. The ears, situated behind the eyes, have flaps which also close while underwater. The jaws are heavy set and contain 64 to 68 teeth. The teeth in the upper jaw are perfectly aligned with those in the lower jaw. The scales are oval and the scutes, bony plates, are small compared to other species. Adults are dark with light tan to gray areas. The ventral surface is white or yellow in color, and stripes are present on the lower sides of the body, but do not extend to the belly. The tail is gray with dark bands. Range and Habitat Green anacondas are found in Trinidad and tropical South America, east of the Andes, south to Bolivia and northern Paraguay. 
This hot, humid region with its dense foliage offers excellent habitat for such a large snake, which fits well into this world. The anaconda likes to be in or near water and spends a large part of its time in the murky waters that help to hide, as well as support, its tremendous body. Crocodilus porosus is most commonly found on the coasts of northern Australia and on the islands of New Guinea and Indonesia. It ranges as far west as Sri Lanka and eastern India, along the shorelines and river mouths of Southeast Asia to central Vietnam, around Borneo and into the Philippines and in Palau, Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands. Saltwater crocodiles are strong swimmers and are sometimes found in open water very far from land. Saltwater crocodiles tolerate salinity and are found mostly in coastal waters or near rivers. They are also found in fresh water near rivers and swamps. Diet The diet of anacondas consists of wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybaras, caimans, and even jaguars. They are not very active hunters, but instead use a watch-and-wait approach as their prey swims by or comes to the water to drink. Like its boa brethren, the anaconda kills its prey by coiling its muscular body around the creature and squeezing until the prey can no longer breathe. Jaws attached by stretchy ligaments allow the snake to swallow its prey whole. The anaconda often takes its meal into the water, where perhaps the buoyancy helps maneuver the food to the proper position for swallowing. Anacondas can go weeks or months without eating following a big meal. Saltwater crocodiles typically feed on fish, mammals and birds, preferring to hunt at night. Even small crocodiles are able to take relatively large prey, and nothing really stands a chance against a large male saltwater crocodile, which is capable of killing and eating pretty much anything that comes into its territory, including sharks and humans. Behavior Anacondas are nocturnal, meanwhile, leading solitary lifestyles. Being water-dwelling reptiles, anacondas are fast in water while slow on land. Most of their lives they spend in water, staying underwater for long periods of time. Anacondas are comparably passive at daytime heat and start moving at dusk when the heat subsides. They often pass long distances very quickly, usually when the dry season reaches its highest point or when they look for mates. The anaconda is an amphibious snake. It gives birth to live young. Saltwater crocodiles are considered very intelligent and sophisticated animals. They communicate by barks and are thought to display four different calls, including a high-pitched distress call performed by juveniles in a series of short barks. Threat calls consist of a hissing sound made at intruders. Saltwater crocodiles use thermoregulation to maintain body temperatures. They cool themselves in water and warm themselves in the sun. What do you think would happen if these two reptiles came face to face and had to fight? These animals would never naturally come into contact since the anaconda lives in South America and the saltwater crocodile is found in Asia and Oceania. First of all, in terms of size, the crocodile is much larger, maybe even two times heavier than the anaconda. Even though anacondas have preyed on caimans, the crocodile is much larger and likely too big for the anaconda to eat. So it's unlikely the snake would attack it in the first place, but the croc certainly wouldn't think twice about eating the snake. If they were really trying to kill each other, the crocodile is still most likely to win. It's bigger than anything the anaconda preys on and in all likelihood is too big for the anaconda's method of attack to do any real damage. On the other hand, the crocodile's bite is more than enough to kill the snake. 
Its smaller relative, the Nile crocodile, has been known to kill animals much larger than an anaconda. So the saltwater crocodile, which is bigger, would most likely crush the snake, figuratively and literally. The ambushing and constricting technique will not work on the saltwater crocodile. Assuming both are average, mature individuals, the saltwater crocodile takes this match. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.